This video will be about the different ports, specifically LDAP ports, that DSFW offers. So I'm going to start off with just a plain, the plain eDirectory server. This is a, the eDirectory server that's in the tree. And we'll start with just doing a uh, net, netstat, uh, net stat dash uh, well let's the TCP UDP even though we're going to do specifically in DSD so UDP is not going to make a difference but that's we'll list it anyways uh, uh, in all port all ports and the protocols and we'll pipe grep NDSD and start and then also pipe grep listen We'll start with that and cut it down from there. So let's uh, just so we just so we see the port. We can see right here what's listening. These are all NDSD. Um, this is kind of wrapped around here. You, if I had it uh, a little more room, you would this would be uh, uh, you would see this is the PID and then the the uh, service and it would be listed uh, on the the very last um, field here. So l let's narrow this down so we can see just the ports. And we will pipe, and we'll use uh, pipe, and we'll use awk, and let's print the field number. So we have one, two, three, four. We'll use field four since awk by default uh, delimits on space, and we'll just show what that that brings up. Now let's let's narrow that down a little bit more. We'll use pipe cut and we'll use the delimiter of the colon right here. And since this is field one, this would be field two, so dash F two. And we can see the, the our our ports that uh let me just clear this. Here we go. You can see the ports. If we want, we can clean this up a little bit more. We can use uh, sort dash n for numeric, and we can do um, unique. There we go. So we only list right here. You can see 524 listed twice. It was on the loopback and the IP address. So now we've just lowered it to, to one. So you can see right the the ports 389, 524, 636. 8028 and 8030. These these are for iMonitor. Uh, this is of course a secure LDAP. This is NCP and this is unsecure LDAP. Let's take this same same uh, command, copy it, and we will look at our DSFW server. Let's paste that here. And as you can see, we've got substantially more ports that NDSD is listening on. We have our unsecure LDAP. We have 524 and 636, uh, but we also have this 1389, 1636, 3268, 3269, and then of course our, our iMonitor ports. Now the difference is 636 and 389, they are standard LDAP ports, but on DSFW, it uses the AD style of LDAP. So it's, it's just an AD when you hit port 389 or 636, you're just searching or querying within that domain. So you're not going to be do, able to do a tree search. You're just going to search within that domain. Uh, also, uh, AD has a global uh, global catalog, and that's these two ports, the unsecure and the secure ports for the global catalog. And that allows you to search your entire AD forest, and which uh, is all of your domains. So if you have say three domains, you'll be able to search all three domains using these ports. The same thing is with DSFW. Again, this is real this is this is limited to inside your your domains. The your or your DSFW forest. It's not the e directory tree, it's the DSFW forest. Now these two ports right here are specifically for e directory. So if you want that capability of e directory, uh, searching your entire tree for, uh, and while hitting the DSFW server for LDAP, there is that capability. And 
we can show you also let me show you also uh, switch back to to this uh, box and let's do a LDAP config get dash a and we'll do it's admin dot no dot no dot novel dash w novel and you can do a dash capital w or just let it prompt you you don't even have to do a dash a you can have spaces in between that looks might look a little confusing doesn't matter it'll uh, return it so uh, as you can see specifically we have uh, the our LDAP ports and let's just uh, so we I mean it's it's pretty basic you can see three nine six thirty six let's do the same command on our DSFW server hold up and I'll put a capital W so you can see it, it LDAP config get dash a admin dash w or without the w there we go well it's not it doesn't recognize the capital w so it's just just LDAP search so if you don't want it to don't want to have your uh, password in the buffer just don't put a password on it or don't put a w on there okay so now we can see again we have our our ports here uh, 389 636 but we have these LDAP interfaces and let's just let me just copy this and we'll we will uh, I'll grep on LDAP interfaces so we can oh you know what We put an asterisk there. Novel. Okay, so just to narrow it down, so you can see the the LDAP interfaces with the SFW showing 1636, 139, so our E directory, and then our AD style uh, ports. So I hope that uh, has made it somewhat clear. Uh, I'll, one uh, more tool I'll show you is if you have an LDAP browser, we could use LDAP search, but uh, there's a tool here called uh, Apache Directory Studio. Fantastic tool. Let's you do different types of binds. Uh, in this example here, uh, we're, I'll do this is a, a GSS API bind. Uh, here's a simple bind on 1636. Here's uh, 636. This GSS API is also doing 636. But this is, this is a simple bind uh, standard, which you would normally do against uh, eDirectory. Um, and this GSS API is something that uh, is using uh, a Kerberos uh, AD style type bind. Uh, it, let's uh, specific in this. So we have our E directory server and our DSFW server. Let's first look at our DSFW server on port 636. Now it's doing a root DSC search right here. Doing a root DSC search, it's going to bring back the different partitions that are on the server. As you can see, there is no O equals Novell. The, instead, what is returned is our domain name. Uh, we could still, if we were doing a search, do an O equals Novell, and it would still uh, return turn this. But since it's a domain, it it autom it brings back uh, the domain name. S and if we look inside our domain, we have we have basically these two partitions right here. We have uh, con as far as containers go. We have all of our objects here. A is a container, which is not partitioned. B is a container, which is partitioned, but part of the domain. And C is part of the domain. And l just to kind of help you yeah, understand that, let's uh, do a K in it administrator, grab a ticket, and do a domain control dash dash list to list the partitions that are part of our domain. So we have O equals Novell, where we're mapped, and then our C and B directly under it. So those are the part those partitions are part of the domain. So we can see A because it's not partitioned, so it's automatically part of the domain. B is part of the domain, and C is part of the domain. That's all we see. 
Now, if we look with port with uh, 1636, we're going to see something a little different. Here, here's O equals Novell. It doesn't re understand the return the, the domain name. And if we come down, so we find R A, R B, R C, and then we also have D and uh, and E. So we're seeing everything. This, again, this is an E directory search, so we're going to see in the entire tree. And now this server doesn't have a replica. It's making an external reference, as you can see uh, by the attributes over here. And, and by the way, this. Uh, um, if you're looking for a nice LDAP browser, this is a great tool. And it's meant so that you can have somewhat of a LDAP, open LDAP type uh, DS server uh, that you can create with this, this Apache server. It's, it doesn't have the capabilities, near the capabilities of, of eDirectory, but it does allow you to uh, make a great uh, tool for uh, editing via LDAP a your your tree. So if you need to go and you want to look at the uh, all the attributes here and go in and, and make a modification, we could do that. So you could change that to C2, and it will and it will stay. We'll keep that at C1. But yeah, you, it's it's a, a tool to to modify attributes. And uh, if we go and look at our root DSC, it's just kind of interesting look at the the properties at the entry so we can include um, op optional attributes makes a big difference so we can see everything but as far as connections go it uh, gives us some great information here so on our DSFW server we can see the different uh, methods that we have installed SP, NEGO, um, GSS API I mean we've got all the the e directory methods the LDAP versions the e directory version. Here we have a list of controls, uh, so you, you can see all the different controls. These are there's a lot more controls on the DSFW server than on the e directory server, a standard e directory server. Our extensions and our features. So this tool makes it great to see all this information. Again, you can see where it's reading schema. Now, if we do the same, so we so as you can see, we see that. Let's uh. Let's look at uh, our e directory server. Now, e directory server has a replica of D and E, therefore, we can see it automatically uh, listed there. Again, uh, the O. And if, and if we ch if we wanted our root DSC, this is a you can go in here do and uh, in our connections uh, change this to you know O equals Novell. And there we go. It just show, starts with the O and goes down from there. And again, just like normal E directory, we can see C and D. And if we look, since we're, let's just kind of give you a show of this this tool. Look at the properties, and we can see the difference with the controls. Not near the controls on a standard E directory server as a DSFW server. And the and extensions and features. Anyway, I hope that helps you understand the different ports with with uh, DSFW and how they how they work. Uh, and uh, um, you know, and basically what you can do. Uh, some some unique uniqueness with uh, DSFW with uh, as far as LDAP goes compared to normal E directory. Thanks for watching the video.